What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to be discussing my February hits and misses. February was a really weird month for me for some reason. It was incredibly busy. If you don't know, we did actually move at the beginning of the month um, and we did vlog the entire thing. So if you're interested in checking that out and seeing what all went down, I will link that down below. But yeah, it was, it was a really busy, stressful, unique month. Let's just say I'm excited for it to be March and I'm ready to put February behind me. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's time to move on to a new month. I'm feeling really motivated. I'm very excited to be sitting here and filming. I did upload a few videos this month, but they were all kind of vlog style lifestyle, but favorites videos are my favorite. <laughs> I do really, really enjoy doing them. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just sit down with you guys, do a chill little chit chat. I'm literally in sweats and my hair has uh, for sure seen better days. So if you're interested in seeing what all worked really well for me this month and a few products this month, unfortunately that did not go so great, then just keep watching. <laughs> So I have to address the elephant in my in in my room in the room. Um, as you can tell, I am sitting in my new filming space. I'm so excited. One of the things I was really thrilled about moving into a new house was that I could have more space to film and do makeup and that kind of stuff. So I do have my own like beauty room space office kind of situation. And my first favorite would definitely be my background. I'm so excited for this and I'm very proud of myself because I did all of this by myself. I hung it all. Nick has been gone for a month. So I basically moved the entire house in myself, which has been really interesting. If you ever want to feel like you have your shit together and can do things by yourself and are super independent women who don't need no man, hang all the pictures in your house. I'm telling you, it's so empowering. So I just have this background, which will be probably my only backdrop going forward. I'm kind of sick of like having to steam fabric and hang it and all that kind of stuff just to get like a colorful background. So I thought that this was kind of more relaxed, a little bit more relatable, not as like stuffy and like beauty tutorial. I really, really love it. I just have uh, my Mac desktop back here, which is where I do all of my editing. And then I have a really cool print that I got from Hobby Lobby and a floating shelf with a little plant and some decor. I might switch some of that stuff out. I don't know, we're still playing around with it, but I really, really love how it came out. I hope you guys enjoy it. Something aesthetically pleasing for you to look at in the background. So normally when I do a favorites video, I talk about the things I don't like at the beginning because that's like really what you're all here for, let's be honest. But I'm gonna talk about my favorites up front. We'll just get them out of the way and then we can talk about the juicy stuff. So because February was so busy for me, I really relied on like products I've already tested and tried. I didn't have time to be trying out all this new makeup, putting a full face on while I'm unpacking boxes and tripping over dogs and all of that madness. So I really defaulted back to things I know work well for me. So this was kind of the month of re-falling in love with some products. Um, and the first thing I wanna talk about is the LA Girl Pro Matte High Def Longwear Foundation. I love this foundation and I forgot how much I loved it. It has a really thin consistency, but it dries down super, super matte. Um, so if you're oily, you'll probably like this. And even if you're kind of dry, I'm normal to combo, I would say. And this sits on my skin really, really nicely. Um, I do pair it with kind of a more hydrating primer. Um, I definitely use like my Smashbox primer water with it. Um, the Tatcha Silk Canvas is a really great primer to pair with this. It has a decent shade range, I would say. Um, and it's really cool because they actually came out with like a blue, a yellow, an orange, and a white. Um, and you can mix all those together to kind of change the undertones or the lightness or darkness of your foundation. And this is actually one of the foundations that I keep in my kit just because I think it's really versatile and they do have those mixing mediums that I also keep in my freelance kit. I find it just makes life so much simpler. You don't have to carry 800 foundation shades. You can probably get away with like three and kind of go from there. It is super, super matte, but it doesn't feel heavy or cakey. The only thing I would say with this, you need to work really, really quickly. It does dry very, very fast. So I usually like to work on like one side of my face and then work on the other. And I actually like this best with a brush, which is really weird for me. I usually never ever use a brush with my foundations. I hate like lines or streakiness in my foundation, but this I think looks beautiful with the brush. Um, I've really been loving, where is it? 
this is the brush I've actually been using it and this is like a limited edition um, it was the breast cancer awareness one but this is just an it cosmetics there's eyelashes in it that's disgusting um, an it cosmetics kabuki brush I don't know like a just like a it's a foundation brush you get what I'm saying um, and it's really cute it's a heart but I really like that brush with this foundation I think it looks really nice it doesn't leave any patchiness or anything like that this is this has been my go-to lately because it's so full coverage and just really comfortable to wear and my concealer even though it dries so quickly my concealer actually blends into this really really nicely and I don't set this either because it is so matte. So it kind of eliminates the amount of products I need. And if you're curious for reference, this is a little bit dark for me at the moment. I'm not self tanned at all. This is as fair as I can get. And this is in the shade medium beige. So this is like my self tan is kind of like wearing off. I'm not freshly self tanned. So this is kind of a nice neutral medium shade. So another product that I fell back in love with this month was this MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Cork. This is like a cult favorite, like everybody knows Cork. It's so talked about and raved about. I love MAC lip liners. I think they have a really nice consistency, a nice texture. They are a little bit stiffer than something I would normally go for. Usually I like the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On. They're so creamy and so easy to use. But lately, I've been really overlining my lips, which a lot of you have commented on. No, I have not gotten lip fillers. I just use a lot of lip liner. For overlining my lips and doing a lot of detail work, I do like something a little bit, not harsher, but a little bit stiffer because you have more control and you can really concentrate the color and like carve out your lips and draw that straight line and get it really clean. So this freshly sharpened is like, Man, you can give yourself like a whole new face. It's so good. This color looks dark and scary when you swatch it, but honestly, this is what I pair with every nude. Like it's really, really not that bad at all. So you can pair it with a darker lip color or you can pair it with a nice light lip color. Like this looks so good with like Velvet Teddy. So some eye products that I've been really, really enjoying. If you follow me on Instagram, I do post a lot of looks. Um, so if you're not following me already, shameless plug. I'll leave my info right here and you can follow me on Instagram to see some of the makeup looks I create. Um, my favorite things lately are these Starlet Diamond Powders from Makeup Forever. Do you see how cool these are? These are like a duochrome they're a loose pigment and I'm not gonna lie they're kind of a mess. Um, when you undo them they have like a hole there that everything kind of spouts out of but they're so beautiful. They're so sparkly like the camera won't even do it justice how beautiful these are. Um, I have right here shade 109, oh god, <laughs> shade 109 and then 107. So 107 is like a gold, but it reflects like purpley shimmers kind of. And then 109 is like a greeny gold that also reflects like red maroon shimmer. So they're really unique. So when you look at it straight on, it's like green, but it reflects like a red. It's really, really unique looking. So that's it right there. They're just like super sparkly and pretty. They're so unique and I think they're really flattering. Um, I don't use these, oh my god, there's glitter everywhere now. Um, I don't use these by themselves. I do pair them with like my Too Faced glitter glue um, just because they do need something to kind of adhere to and I also like to use them as a shadow topper. Typically I will not apply that to like a bare lid just because I don't think it has enough pigment um, to really shine through as like an eyeshadow, but they are really, really pretty on top of a shimmery eyeshadow. It just kind of amps up your look and it gives you a little bit more. So I know I'm kind of late to the bandwagon on this. Um, I have been using this since it came out, but I'm just now talking about it. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm obsessed with this powder. It is so beautiful. If you don't know, we are getting married in August. And to me, for some reason, Hourglass has always just been like this, like very natural, like angelic, like bridal, like those, those are the products I think of when doing like bridal makeup and that kind of stuff. So I've really been kind of branching out and testing out more of their stuff just because I feel like it would suit me really nicely for that day. And 
as I get older, I'm not even that old, I'm 23, but as I get older, my taste in makeup kind of changes, um, and I find myself wearing more like natural products and things that make me look really glowy and luminous, and I don't want to be like flat matte anymore. Anyways, wherever I was going with this, this powder is so good. I love it. It's just a really nice translucent powder. First of all, the packaging is gorgeous, and this is really finely, finely milled. It's such high quality. Does it it doesn't smell like anything and it kind of is a mess I'm not gonna lie because it has this like very small sifter so to dump it out you have to like dump it into the lid but then the lid it's whatever I can look past that because the packaging is really pretty and the product is so so good this literally blurs out everything it sets everything so nicely it's so comfortable it doesn't look cakey it just looks airbrushed it's gorgeous now the only thing with this I would say I don't bake with this. This is not a baking powder to me. This is just like a lightly like tap, tap, tap powder, like just to like refresh and like really melt everything into the skin and like blend and look really, really airbrush and perfect basically. This to me, definitely not a baking powder. Um, I don't bake with this under my eyes. I do use it under my eyes, but like I said, I just kind of tap it in with a damp beauty blender or just like a really, really light brush. I just kind of wisp it over my face. I need to come up with better adjectives. It looks kind of chalky and ugh when you bake with it. I don't love it for that, but this when you just like sweep it over your skin as just like a finishing powder, oh my god, 10 out of 10. And it lasts a really, really long time. It just, it transforms your foundation into skin basically. And it just, it looks actually flawless. Like it's, it's beautiful. So the next face products I want to talk about, and is this my last favorite? No, 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 I have one more. So the next thing I want to talk about are these Wet n Wild, um, what the hell are these called? They're loose highlighting powders. These are brand new. Um, they came out end of January, I think. Oh my God, you guys, do you see my highlight today? That's what these are. And I think it was like four or five dollars. Like they're so, so affordable. So I have two shades here. I have Hustle and Glow, and then I have I'm So Lit. Hustle and Glow is a little bit dark for me even when I'm self tan, but I love this all over the body as like a shoulder highlight or like on your collarbones, just to like get that extra shine and like make yourself pop. Oh my God, it looks so, so, so beautiful. And I love these loose highlighters because you can always mix these into like a moisturizer and you can just be like shimmery all over. And who doesn't want that? So this is really nice for like that bronze, healthy, glowy look. Um, this is definitely gonna be a necessity for summer. I already know it. I'm So Lit is the shade that I have on my face today. And I love this because I can wear it when I'm really fair. And then I can wear it also when I'm a little bit more tanned. Um, these, again, a little bit of a mess, but you just have to be really, really careful with them. And you get so much product for such an affordable price. That's it right there on my finger. And just look at that. It's so glowy and it's so beautiful. And I actually really like loose highlights lately because they kind of just like fan out all of your face and disperse. And like while you say like it fans out all of your face, that's a disaster and a mess. I actually really like it because you don't have to blend and it just looks a little bit more natural. And I put it on my forehead, my cheekbones, on my nose, my cupid's bow, the usual places. And it just makes you look so healthy and glowy and it's just beautiful. My favorite way to apply that lately is with this Morphe M501 brush. It's like a tapered highlighting. Um, I do typically use for my highlights, where is it? Typically I will use the M510, but this to me just like is too fanning lately. This like really concentrates it and especially with like a loose highlighter, if you can really concentrate it in one area, it'll kind of just like disperse by itself. So this I find just got it all over the place, but this really blended it like exactly where I wanted and it looks so good. I love it. If you can get your hands on these, I think there's another shade of this that's like a pinky one. Um, but yeah, if you can get your hands on these, super affordable, so much product, it's, they're, they're so beautiful. I love them so much. I don't know what else to say. So the last favorites product that I want to talk about for this month was this new MAC, well, I don't know if it's new, it's new to me, this new um, MAC Fix Plus, um, and this is in the lavender scent. So normally I do use the coconut on myself. I actually bought one of these at first to put in my freelance kit because I figured, you know, not everyone likes coconut 
and some people don't want like coconut oil and that kind of stuff on their skin because it can make them break out and while it does smell amazing um, I thought lavender might be a nice change because lavender is very relaxing and it's good for sensitive skin. It's just, it seems like a little bit more organic to me and mm -hmm, it smells so good. I love lavender. I love anything lavender scented, like all the candles in my bathrooms and air fresheners and all that stuff. It's all like lavender vanilla and all like this relaxation scent. But this one, I just, I really, really, really loved. Like I said, I did buy a second one for my kit. I think this is really soothing. MAC Fix Plus is, I mean, it's been around forever and there's a reason why people are still talking about it. It can transform your makeup from a cakey mess into like natural skin. Um, I use this with loose pigments if I need to get a shadow a little bit more foiled, a little bit more metallic. I spritz my brush with this. This is just such a versatile, versatile, versatile product. And I think everybody can definitely benefit from having a MAC Fix Plus in their collection. So unfortunately, I did have two products that didn't quite work out for me this month. Um, the first one is a skincare product. And it's this formula 10... Zero six. I don't know what this is called like actually like the brand of this and it's really disgusting I'm so sorry, um, but this is turn up the heat a self-warming clay mask with charcoal and ginger so This is cool because it is self-heating like when you rub it into your skin It does get hot and it feels really really good, but like you can see this thing is still full I've tried to use it for Every day, I've tried to use it as just like a once a week mask. It says apply an even layer to clean, apply an even layer to clean and slightly damp skin. Gently massage mask over the entire face for one minute to activate warming. Leave on an additional 35 minutes for a deeper clean. So like it does tingle and it really does like self heat and it does exactly what it claims, minus the part where it like cleans your dirty pores. This didn't do anything for me. I don't, it doesn't smell bad. It almost smells like toothpaste in my opinion. I don't know. Um, but this just, it just, it didn't do anything for me, unfortunately. Um, it was really cool that it did get hot. It was one of those like self-heating kind of things, um, which I thought would really, really get into my pores and like dig out all that dirt and grime. But I just have so many other face masks that I prefer. This just, it didn't do it for me. It felt kind of flat, unfortunately. So the next product and the last product that we're going to talk about unfortunately that didn't work out for me is these l'oreal what are these there's nothing on them whatever these l'oreal i think they're stains gel stains or whatever i have mine in the shade i explore and i empower and these colors are first of all really really beautiful i picked these up because they were the two neutral shades in the collection and i actually tried these out because i was watching tati westbrook um i don't know if you guys know her glam life guru i was watching her youtube video and she was doing kind of like a roundup of like new things at the drugstore that are super great that everybody should try out so I picked these up because I thought maybe it would be really cool for me to start testing these out because I'm looking for a really long wearing lip color for the wedding day. And I figured because maybe these are a stain, but they still look really matte and neutral and beautiful, I thought maybe these would be like the perfect option for me. And I just, I don't know about these, you guys. I just, so they look like a liquid lipstick. So I was like really pleasantly surprised. I was like, they smell good too. Um, so I was like, oh, perfect. Like these look like a liquid lip. Like they're so pretty. I'm so excited. And I put this on my lip and on my hand, it looks really pigmented, but on my lips, it just was so patchy. And I just, I don't know. It was kind of sheer. And I tried it on top of a lip liner and it was sitting kind of funky on my lip liner. It wasn't blending in particularly well. And it was a little bit patchy. It went like patchy on the center of my lips. And I kept like trying to reapply. And it dries to like a satin matte, I would say. It wasn't particularly drying. I don't know if I just didn't get enough time to dry, but this just like fell flat for me. And like this color is so pretty. I was really bummed about these. And on your hand, when you swatch them, they look so pigmented, but on my lips, they were just kind of a patchy mess. They really didn't dry down properly. And I don't know, they just didn't sit nicely on top of my lip liner. And I've gotten to the point with a liquid lip or a liquid lip product, like, I need a lip liner because I do overline my lips and it was just sitting really weird and I tried it with three different lip liners. I tried it with the Urban Decay, I tried it with an Essence one, 
Um, and then I tried it with a MAC one and it just, I don't know, it wasn't blending nicely. I wasn't getting that like seamless fade. So unfortunately, these two lip colors did not work out for me. If you like lip stains, maybe I just don't like lip stains. I like a really opaque lipstick, I guess, is my issue. Um, but I was really hoping to love these because they are lightweight. So if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I know this video is incredibly all over the place. It's almost like I forgot how to film. I'm tripping over all of my words. I can't even speak English. But thank you so much for bearing with me and watching. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited to be back. I can't tell you guys how good it feels to sit down and really film. And I can't tell you how excited I am about my new background and just getting my footage up on the internet again. And just, yes, it feels so nice. It feels so nice. It's like I had a nice break and now I remember why I love doing this so much. And I hope that energy just like radiates to you guys and you guys get that as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that little bell notification down below so you're notified every time I upload. Um, right now I have gone back to uploading once a week but I am going to try maybe some weeks I can sneak in two videos or so. I just I feel really relaxed and not stressed and I feel great like life is so good right now. So I hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing rest of your week, an amazing month. And thank you again so, so, so much for all of the support and watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, I was doing just fine before I met you. I drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay.